Now, one thing I don't like about America is we got real bad drug policy. We got horrible drug policy, man. We got people in jail for getting high. For getting high, man. That's fucked up, man. And the government always says drugs are illegal because they're bad for you and we're trying to protect society. But the government don't give a fuck about your safety. You're as safe as possible. And we're doing everything we can to keep it that way. Keep it that way. Keep you safe. That's where boosters come in. They give a fuck about you. <laughs> Shit. Nah, the government's like this. The government, they don't want you to use your drugs. Turns out I got COVID. So we immediately threw the kitchen sink at it. All kinds of meds, monoclonal antibodies, uh, ivermectin, z uh prednisone, everything. The FDA and the CDC warn against using to treat COVID. They want you to use their drugs. I mean, what are the chances of me getting COVID? I've been taking care of myself and... This really, really kicked my ass. So every night on TV, you see a weird ass drug commercial trying to get you hooked on some legal shit. Some patients may be afraid of taking opioids because they're perceived as too strong or addictive. But that is far from actual fact. Sales of Oxycontin, initially and falsely proclaimed as not addictive, absolutely skyrocketed from $45 billion in 1996 to $3.1 billion in 2010. We've got some breaking news on an opioid case involving three of the largest U.S. drug distributors and Johnson & Johnson. Meg Terrell is here with the news. Meg? Hey, Kelly. Uh, multiple states' attorneys general announcing a settlement uh, with these three drug distributors and Johnson & Johnson uh, for up to $26 billion to settle uh, all of these lawsuits over opioid distribution uh, and um, marketing. Um, they say the three distributors, Amerisource, Bergen, McKesson, uh, and Cardinal Health will collectively pay up to $21 billion uh, over 18 years. J&J &J will pay up to $5 billion over nine years with up to 3.7 paid during the first three years. Uh, now, this resolves a ton of uh, opioid claims that were out against them. And they just keep naming symptoms till they get one that you fucking got, okay? We're going to turn now to the mystery COVID-19 symptoms that doctors are sounding the alarm about as they see a growing number of patients with skin problems. They're calling it COVID toes. The Dr. Jen Ashton joins us with more on this. And Doc, we're seeing several manifestations of the coronavirus that are really surprising doctors. But let's start with what we're call they're calling COVID toes. What is that about? Well, well, Michael, this is under the dermatologic or skin manifestations category and some early reports in the medical literature suggesting that it could be as high as 20%. That's based on reports out of Italy. But take a look at these images for an idea of the range or spectrum that we could possibly see in patients with COVID. What more is there to wait for? What more do you need to see? What you got? You want this pill, huh, motherfucker? You got to take this pill. <laughs> they don't even tell you what the pill does. People talk about, well, I don't know what's in the shot, Chris. I don't know what's in that shot. I'll tell you what's not yeah, in it. Hold on, a tracking me, device. Yeah, yeah. Let me let me let me finish this. You know what's that, you know what they they get shots in nowadays in their rear ends. They're getting shots to make it bigger. They're getting shots in their face. They don't know what's in Botox. They don't know what's in uh, the stuff. Nothing wrong with Botox. People tried don't it. know what they eat. Look, what they drink, I tried what it they once. Smoke. My eyebrow went up. I don't have it now. As you can see, I got all these wrinkles. Everybody asked me when I'm going to get you can eat Botox. But listen, nothing wrong with Botox. Clearly. But I'm saying, do people really know what's in stuff that they inject in their bodies all the time? And they're what like, they oh, eat? They what they what drink? they eat, what they drink, all the stop it. Stop it with the ignorance. And we have to stop saying, oh, well, you know, you have to listen to people. And uh, no, you don't. These people are being harmful to the greater good. You don't have to listen to a minority of people who are being harmful to the greater good and who are not acting on logic, reason and science. 
and they just keep naming symptoms. When you hear about COVID, you think you lose your taste, lose smell, things like that. I had heard the Delta variant is having some different symptoms that maybe look more like the common cold. Oh shit, they got one! I got that! I'm sick, I need that pill! <laughs>